I just want to work on my life. I don't have time for dating. What if I told you dating, working on dating, is working on your life? And if anything, working on dating is one of the most important things you can do to achieve high levels of self-love and master how you communicate with the world and master how you carry yourself in the world. I used to be a guy who was terrified of meeting new people and dating allowed me to step out of that shell. I'm gonna teach you how it can allow you to do the same thing. But first, let me tell you a quick story. So when I first began approaching women, me and my friend who I used to go out with a lot, every Saturday or Sunday, we would go to Santa Monica Boulevard in LA. And for a couple hours, what we would do is we talk to some new people, come back, order some Sharkies, best burritos, man. I still miss that stuff and basically reflect on our experience. And I remember I had this one day where I showed up, I was excited to meet my friend, but I was really stuck in my head. And I remember I told myself, okay, just a few conversation in, things are going to get better. So I approach the first girl, I tell her, hey, I thought I looked nice, I wanted to say hello. She's not interested in a relationship, she walks away. I approach the second girl, she walks away as well. I approach the third girl. We have a quick conversation. And after that conversation, she tells me she needs to go. So I send her her merry way. Or I don't send her, she just leaves. And now I'm stuck in my head. I'm thinking to myself, what's wrong? And I'm trying to convince myself, okay, the next conversation is going to be better. The next conversation, I'm going to communicate better. Now I remember as I'm walking with my friend, feeling a bit down, I see this girl that I'm really drawn to. She just looks absolutely beautiful and I know I have to tell her that. So I tell my friend, hey man, one second, I start running the other way so that I can stop her. And the moment I say, excuse me, she turns around a bit, looks at me straight in the eyes and just looks like, like this. She just looks completely disgusted by my presence and doesn't even say anything and keeps walking straight up. And in that moment, I really felt my heart almost break. And that reaction from her made me go back to who I was in high school. I could feel, I could feel myself holding the version of me who was 225 pounds, was addicted to video games, who didn't have any control over his life. I could feel that version of me just popping out in front of me. And I remember thinking, is this going to work? Can I actually have the results I want with this? Or should I just give up? Should I just not try anymore? And in that moment of pain, in that moment of just sadness, in that moment of feeling all alone, feeling scared, feeling almost a bit hopeless, I realized this is never about the woman. This was about who I wanted to be, how I wanted to carry myself in the world. Yet I mistakenly believed that some reaction from the outside world was going to change who I was deep down. And that moment of just being alone, I was with my friend, of course, but that moment of almost contracting in so much to really ask myself, who is the person who's taking this personally? And what do I want out of this? That moment made me realize this is about who I want to be. And as long as I can work on who I want to be, how I want to communicate with the world, other people's reactions don't matter. So I remember walking back to my friend and him asking me what happened. And as I was walking back to my friend, I had a smile on my face. I was almost amused by how many times I've been rejected how many times people had shut me down so he thought i had a good time in that conversation because he didn't see me talking to the girl i come back and he goes oh it looked like it went well i'm like no it went terribly she looked at me as if i belonged in the trash can and he said well you don't seem so bothered by it and i said well actually i was until i realized i'm not doing this for anyone else I'm doing this for who I want to be. And other people don't know who I want to be. They don't truly know my intentions as much as I know my intentions. And my intention was to master myself, master my emotions. And those intentions were things I could work on no matter how people responded to me. So the next conversation I had, I went in with the attitude. I went in with the joy of knowing that I could work on myself and just me showing up in that situation was me working on myself and her reaction didn't even matter 
because I knew what I was coming in there for. I was there to follow my fear. I was there to almost mold myself to the higher version of myself, using my fears as a vehicle to be that person. So the next woman I approach, I really own that. I own that I was in the journey of stepping into my higher self. So I was more confident in that moment, not because her reaction was different, but because I trusted myself more and I knew I had my own back and I knew that I was going to the places I wanted to go to. So I said, hey, excuse me, I know this is random, but I thought you looked very nice. I had to come say hello. And when I came in with that energy, the woman started paying attention. Nothing in the way I looked, in the way I dressed, nothing changed in the clothes I was wearing or in the physical shape I was in. I couldn't change that in two seconds, but my energy was different. And that energy was, I'm a man who's trying to get better. And that's what I portrayed in those conversations. And this whole journey allowed me to achieve levels of self-love and self-mastery because every time I got blown out five, six, seven, eight, ten times in a row, I had to face parts of myself that I didn't want to face otherwise. And what I realized was in those moments, those parts were so apparent that all I could do was to love those parts because nothing else would make them reintegrate. So my lesson for you is to remember why you got into this journey in the first place, why you got into this journey of meeting woman and understand that you need a higher purpose for doing this rather than just wanting to have options with women if you want to stay consistent with it. You know, people always say someone with a big why can bear any how. So ask yourself, what is your why? And see the bigger picture on how mastering attraction and mastering meeting women can help you love yourself more and master your reality. This is exactly what we helped Lloyd with. Lloyd came to me asking for dating advice, asking for ways to meet women because he was coming out of a relationship. And instead, he repaired his relationship with his dad after two years of not speaking to him. He started mentoring other guys inside our program. He started going on a few dates and now he's a completely different person. Why? Because meeting woman, mastering attraction is the vehicle for you to love yourself, is the vehicle for you to master who you are in this world. So if you resonate with that message and you want to do this work, go in the link below. Book a call with me, join our Facebook group. And remember, this commitment you make to dating is also a commitment you make to yourself and who you want to be. May the growth be with you. I will see you in the next video.